Am I right. being no, detained? Nope. I we're gonna. Am, am I being detained? Sir, you're being detained right now just for trying to figure for, out what's going on here. That's all I'm trying to do. Is there? We got called. For, there's a verbal. Di there's a verbal disturbance here. Can you back up just a little bit? No, six sir. Feet? I, we're gonna walk back here. Just six feet, please. We're gonna walk back in front of my car. In front of my car. So I'm being detained. You are being detained. Yes, sir. For what crime? There is a verbal disturbance here. That's all I need to investigate. Right. All right. A verbal disturbance. Yes, sir. I need your driver's license or an ID card. What's going to happen to me if I don't give you my document? I have to. I have to show. Hi, good citizens. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you are first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for for future video notifications. This video is from YouTube channel Audit CDA. I do all. The original link is in the description. Please subscribe and give credit where credit is due. Guys, when you are done watching this video here, please don't forget to post your comments. And as always, guys, if you would like to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. Let's get it into 98.7 clear. Ninety-eight point six, clear. Uh, Temperature check. I'm sorry, I'm not. Ninety-eight point seven, clear. Oh. Seriously? Looks like a camera. <laughs> ninety-eight point six, clear. <laughs> clear. Ninety-eight point seven, clear. <laughs> What can I do for you today? I didn't ask for any help. Who are you? Okay. Well, I'm just trying to find out what uh, someone told me there was somebody out here with a camera, so I just wanted to find out if everything was okay, if you need any assistance, or. What's your name? Uh, I'm the postmaster right now, sir. What, what, what can I do for you? Is there something I can do for you? Or you, do you just want to take videos, or what? Aren't you uh, supposed to identify yourself to the public? Uh, sir, I'm just asking you if, if you need assistance. Do you need assistance? I'm just asking you who you are. Okay. I'll take care of Thank you. Thank you. Ninety-eight point six, clear. Are you filming me? No. What are you? They're not. They're not planning to fill the scrap. How's it going, sir? Sir, can I talk to you over here? Can we just talk over here? What's wrong with talking to me here? I just want to talk to you in front of my car where we're not in front of the entrance and we can just have a little peaceful conversation. That's all yeah. I want. All right, go ahead and walk. I, I prefer you in front of me. No, if you don't I'm mind. not going to walk in front of you, sir. That's officer safety reasons. We can walk that way. Walk towards my car. He's making me walk backwards, guys. Sir, I'm not making you walk backwards. You're walking backwards yourself. Well, I gotta keep you on camera. So okay, you, know. you can keep me on camera. I just want to talk to you. That's all I want to do. I don't appreciate being on the camera without my permission. That's against. How the far boss. am I being no, detained? No, nope. I we're gonna. Am, am I being detained? Sir, you're being detained right now just for trying to figure for, out what's going on here. That's all I'm trying to do is there, we got called, for, there's a verbal, di there's a verbal disturbance here. Could you back up just a little bit? No, six sir. Feet. We're going to walk back here. Six feet, please. We're going to walk back in front of my car. In front of my car. So I'm being detained. You are being detained. Yes, sir. For what crime? There is a verbal disturbance here. That's all I need to investigate. All right. All right. Verbal disturbance? Yes, sir. I need your driver's license or an ID card. What's going to happen to me if I don't give you my document i have to i have to show i have to know who you are so i can trespass you if required so that's verbal, all i need to know verbal is, disturbance is a crime sir so i'm being was, accused of a crime you are not being accused of a crime that's what then i'm trying to explain detained? because there was a verbal disturbance all right we're not going to go There's down no this route verbal disturbance. we're not we're not going to go down this route all who's, right who's the we're victim? just going to have a conversation what route am, are we not going to go down gosh sir can you just listen are to you me? Being, are you are you becoming frustrated are you becoming frustrated? No, sir. I just want to know. Do you know really my want rights. to go down this route? That's what I'm trying to find. I would just find. like to know what my rights are in this situation. Just like all your rights everywhere else. You're in America. You have all your you rights. You have a name and badge number. It's right here. My name's right your there. Your name is right here. Right there. 
It's okay. on. You can well, put it on camera. Let, I don't care, sir. I need to know his, who. His camera is your is your camera activated right now? Yes, sir. Okay, make sure it's on. It's, it's been on this entire time. It's sir. covering your name. You can have my card. I do not this care, sir. All... I need to. M third. Say again. Yes, sir. M third. All right. I just need to know who you are so that I can figure all this out. Then we can go about our merry way. That's all I need to figure out. Okay, who has complained against me? Multiple people along with the post office. So- Do you have their names? I don't because I'm not sitting in front of my computer. I need to know your name. What is your name? Why do you need to know my name? So if I have to trespass you, I need to know who I'm trespassing. It's kind of hard to trespass an unknown person, isn't it? So I'm being detained right now. Who are you? I'm being detained right now for filming because you, it's all on. So there was no, yeah, there was no, no verbal disturbance. That's what I'm getting told. There was a verbal disturbance. Okay, well, citizen all, dispute. That is video. what I'm here for. I've got it all on video. There was no verbal disturbance. Well, oh, that's what I'm here for. I don't know because I've been talking to you since I got here. Correct. Okay. Is, is, correct. Am I being accused of a crime? Sir, I need to figure out what's going on. Why? I need to identify who you are and who everybody else is involved in this whole thing. I don't Can understand you just... why you need to know who I am to decide whether there was a crime being oh committed. Sir, what's your name? Can you just de-escalate a little bit? I am de-escalating. I am it not looks like proud you're of... very frustrated. Well, tell me who you are. Well, I don't want to give you up my uh, Fourth Amendment rights. You're not giving up your Fourth Amendment Unless rights. Unless you're going to uh, threaten me with arrest, I'm not going to volunteer any information to you. Sir, who are you? Again, unless you threaten me with arrest, I'm not going to identify. What is your name? Again, I am, what I'm will happen you. to me if I don't? If I do not give you my identity? If there's a crime, then I'm going to charge you with multiple crimes. If there's a crime? If there was a crime that was committed, or if you're trespassing, or anything like that, then I'm going to charge you with obstruction. Okay. Well, th until you tell. And if, and, until Delaying and interfering listen, with my investigation. That listen, is what I'm going to charge you with. Listen, it's just like if you were driving down the mo roadway and you do not provide a driver's license or ID card to prove who you are. Can we get a supervisor here, please? I have two other deputies here. Okay. I don't need, I need a, to supervisor. Talk to a supervisor. Why do you need to talk to a supervisor? Because I don't believe you know the law. Okay. You're not respecting my, my, my constitutional law. I am here to do a job, right? And I got called here lawfully and told that there was a citizen dispute and a verbal disturbance. And I told so, you that I don't- And I am not here to argue with you about the verbal disturbance. I need to know who's identified on so, what crimes and what stuff so I can investigate what's going on. Okay, for the and third then if, time, and then I, am, I would like to talk to a supervisor, please. Please. 2334, 2336. Kootenai County Sheriff, guys. Can you come over to this location? All right. Oh man, it's cold. Hey man, all that I ask you to do is just not, maybe not stick. You can ask all you want, bud. Try to keep your six feet from what's your What's your name and badge stuff. number? But you can go stand there all you want in video. Okay, what's your Nothing name and badge number? All right. What's your name and badge number? We don't have badge That's all I know. That's all I need to know, sir. That's all I want. They won't identify. They come up here like a tyrant. The walk of shame. The walk of shame. That's what you're doing right now. A tyrant walk of shame. Have a good day, sir. Don't ever come out. up on me like that again or I will sue you. Okay. You hear me? Okay. I'm the public. You're the servant. Okay. Have a good day. Read sir. your constitution. I just, I just want you to know. Have a good day. Yeah, now it is. What if I didn't have the camera? So, Kootenai County Sheriff, guys. I'm gonna go back over here because I can. And so they actually, I wanna go over there and get their car numbers. Ten. This one is fifty two. Fifty two, guys. We're rolling out of here.
Only one leg in a fire. 57. That's 57. They wouldn't identify. Wouldn't wear their masks. These rolled up on me all hard. Rolled up on me all hard, man. Getting all irritated. Demanding my ID. Came an inch away from threatening me with the rest. They don't like freedom. You can see it. First he said he detained me, then he said I wasn't detained. So I thought the sheriff had gotten their people squared away. Sheriff Norris. Now apparently I was completely wrong about that. Get that damn thing out of my face or I'll bust it up. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, that's a crime. That's a crime. Sir, why did you assault me? Sir, why did you assault me? So you know when the real crime happens, this is what you get. People hate freedom. They've been brainwashed to hate freedom. Look at this guy. He's a disgrace. You're a disgrace. You're a tyrant. Here it is, guys. K685. K8. Please do. Please do. Because they're going to take you to jail. Good, how are you doing? Us? Yeah, I did. What's going on? So, uh, were you one of the officers that showed up earlier? No, no. My name is Sergeant Fresh. Sergeant? Okay, I had requested the supervisor earlier, but one okay. never came. Um, um, well, I'm a supervisor here now. Okay, so some of your officers came up here, I don't know, about three deep. And we had a little conversation, realized I wasn't doing anything illegal. Okay. And, uh, so then they told me I could go, go ahead and go back to do what I was doing. And okay. when I did, some guy come out of there and told me to, to stop filming him and grab my camera. Is he still and, there uh, No, but I got it on film, his license plate and everything like that. So do I go down to the sheriff's department to file a complaint? Okay, uh, you, we can take care of you now, but we're going to need need the footage for, for video, or for mm. evidence rather. So you're gonna have to take and comp or take possession of the of the of no. the camera. Yeah. How how are you gonna attain the the data? Well, I'm hoping you're gonna tell me the truth and say. Well, I can show it to you right is, here. This is the guy that, or this is what's going on. Okay, this I, is one of your guys. I'm not gonna complain on you, bud, but you were like way out of line, bud. I was not out of line, sir. Come on, okay, man. Well, guys, 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 guys. I'm I can you show out. you this guy too. Okay. His demeanor. I, I, I'm gonna help you out here. Okay. So yeah. you wanna file battery charges? against whoever so um actually what i'd like to happen is it's i'm not here trying to educate the public and the so in the public servants okay on first amendment that's my goal out here okay that's it okay. i'm not up to anything nefarious and uh and so this guy yeah you're blocking the traffic here so, so, sir what's your first name um uh, once you get out of the way, I'll, I'll think about that a minute. Take this over to that property? Yeah, I'll do that. I explained myself multiple times to you. It's all on film, bud. I, I explained myself Everyone multiple can make times. up their own mind. You, okay, I'm fine with okay. that. I wanted sure. you. I wanted to explain to you what's going on and why I was called there. Right. And I you're not. That. You're not helping me out. You're not. You're being helping. a tyrant, man. I am not being yes, a tyrant. You were. I'm trying to explain. I said there was a citizen dispute or a verbal disturbance here. I am investigating that. I want to help you. If you're the victim in it, I want to be there to yeah. help you. But All you're right. not helping at me out by telling me who you are or what you're doing or what's going on, why I'm called there. Nothing. You're not making your sheriff's office look good right now, bud. Just, just please calm down and, and just think about it a minute. All right, so I thought about it a second, man. And listen, I'm not here. I'm actually, believe it or not, trying to bridge a gap, trying to get, educate like I say, the public servants and the, and the public about the First Amendment right, okay? okay? And that's why I'm out here. 
Uh, I'm not going to press charges on on the person at this time because you, you know you're right. I'll probably have to give up my uh, my I'm good good in the safety. It's always for the safety. It's always for your own safety. The safest place is in Fort Knox, but I don't want to live there. Okay. Have you been there? Sidebar. Have you been there? I no, went no. Basic, I went to basic training there. I actually got to do a okay. tour outside Fort Knox. Were you Army? I was. Okay. 21 thank, years. Thank you for your service. You're talking to Air Force right there. Thank I, you for your service, sir. bud. So we care about the we care about the country, and we also care about our community. Uh, and I and I have no doubt about that. But if a lot of times you don't realize that, you, and I hate to use the word brainwashed, but you get sort of indoctrinated into becoming a tyrant, and you don't even know what's happening. Like, for example, when you think that you can detain somebody when you cannot articulate a reasonable suspicion of a crime. And there's no reason to defend yourself right now, bud. It's all, it's all on video. Call you Chief? You can call me Chief, sure. Chief? Okay. Is there anything I can, uh, that's all I can help you with? No, 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 not at all, okay. man. And, and like I said, man, I'm trying to build bridges here, man. Not tear them down. All well, right? I appreciate. I really am. All right. All right. Be good, please. All right. Absolutely. We'll probably see you around again, I'm sure. Well, hopefully not. I mean, this. I mean, the CDA police pretty much. Uh, they know now that what I'm up to, and they don't even hardly come out anymore. You know what I mean? Because I'm not breaking the law. They know I'm not out trying to break the law. Yeah. Chief, you have a good day. All right. All right you as well. Stay warm. Yep. The video captures an encounter between a citizen exercising their First Amendment rights by filming in public area and law enforcement officers responding to a reported disturbance. disturbance. The citizens' goal is to educate the people, the public, and the public servants about their rights. The officers initially approach the citizen, request identification, and indicate there was a reported verbal disturbance. The citizen asserts their right not to provide identification without reasonable suspicion of a crime. Throughout the video, tension arises as the citizen sex a clarification on whether they are being detained and expresses concern about potential infringements on their rights. The officers try to establish the purpose of the citizens' filming and address their concerns about trespassing the conversation be becomes somewhat confrontational at times with the citizen insisting on their rights on and the, the officer trying to manage the situation. This is some lessons learned from this video. Number one, First Amendment rights. The citizens' actions to film in public spaces to exert their freedom of, of uh, speech and press highlights the importance of knowing and asserting one situation, one uh, constitutional rights. Number two, communication. Effective communication between citizens and law enforcement is crucial to prevent misunderstandings and de escalation, de escalate situations. Citizens should remain calm and respectful will officers should clar uh, clearly communicate their intentions and concerts. Number three, de-escalation. Both parties should focus on the escalation to avoid comfortations. Officers can be benefit from providing clear explanations of their actions. Will citizens can remain cooperative with expressing their rights. Number four, identifying reasonable suspicion. 
law enforcement officers should be able to articulate a reasonable suspicion of a crime. Before detaining an individual or requesting identification. Number five, supervisory involvement. Requesting a supervisor or higher ranking officer can help ensure that interactions are conducted in accordance with the department's pol policies and legal standards. Number six, public education. Citizens have the right to film in public spaces, but it's also essential to understand the potential implications and restrictions such as property boundaries and potential trespassing. Number seven, video evidence. Filming interactions can provide an objective recording, a record of events, hiding in accountability, transparency, and potential legal action if necessary. That's going to do it for this video. Much love to our another video. Make sure you use the link in the description to show them some love and check out his most recent videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.